Spawning down in the bottom right position. We have got the pink Terran player. It is Moomin. And up in the top left, the blue Terran player, Cass. Now Cass is 1-0 up. This is the first best of three of the night, the first series. This is where thing gets, things really start getting intense. And for those of you wondering, what have I landed on? What is happening? This is the Gamecom European Open. It is one night and one night only. The winner walks away with a beautiful Gamecom Commander. I'm actually wearing one right now, and they are incredibly nice headsets, so that's really good. Second place, they get a Gamecom 380, but that's not all. You, yes you, the person listening right now, hopefully you've paid attention, you're not busy looking at Reddit or something like that, because this is your opportunity to win a Gamecom 380 headset as well. All you've got to do is send a tweet to at ESETUKMasters telling me your favorite moment of tonight's broadcast. And then one lucky European resident will win that Gamecom 380 headset. Just from doing that, that's pretty easy. Did you like that Thor Rush? Was that the moment of the night for you? Send us a tweet, let us know if it was, and be in a chance to win. So yeah, that's all pretty cool. Now, in terms of opening this game, Moomin is going to go Command Center first, like a million percent are Command Center first, because look, no barracks, no gases, that means Command Center first. Meanwhile, Cass, barracks, and refinery. I'm really interested to see whether he's going to be extra careful that there isn't a proxy Thor coming. Because that'd be cool. Uh, we saw it in game number one. I'm slightly slightly in love with proxy Thors and all those kind of funky builds. They make me really happy. As someone in the chat pointed out as well, Wyra does have a two carrier rush build. That's another build I'm a massive fan of. There was also a battle cruiser rush build. I believe it was TVZ, I wanna say. And like that was ridiculously funny to see. Um, I don't think it's still viable, but if you do have any funky builds like that, you should definitely play them because it's more fun that way, especially with unranked games. You can do cool things like that. I went mass Raven the other day. Um, I literally made nothing but Ravens, um, apart from like a couple of Marines to defend early game, and then just flew around auto turreting everything. It was brilliant. I think the other person got rather annoyed at me though, um, which is a bit unfortunate because I was just like, how can I beat this? And I just honestly didn't know because all of my ravens, they were everywhere. They were killing the stuff and it was fun. Now, Reaper is on its way down. Cass once again putting the bunk and Moomin. Ooh, has Moomin seen this? No. Cass sneaky sneaky putting that in there. The Reaper is making his way over. Reaper needs to make sure that he doesn't reveal. Okay, the bunker can now be seen. Moomin moved that SCV. Oh, well, Moomin didn't move it. The SCV moved around to the side, saw the bunker. Reaper is now going to start doing some damage. All the SCVs are coming to kill. These are dangerous SCVs. These are the type you do not want to encounter down a dark alley, but the bunker is now complete. Cass is starting to chip away with this Reaper. He started his second command center. Of course, last game, Cass only managed to get the opportunity to make two command centers, which for Cass probably is quite confusing because, as I mentioned, he likes getting all of the command centers everywhere at every possible point. So. Here we go now, two Reapers are now on their way up. We see that the SCVs are starting to take some of the damage. The Reaper is getting very low though. The second Reaper gonna try and tank some of it up. He's also getting very low. The combat drugs need to start kicking in this Marine. Ever so bravely gonna try and get the kill. The SCVs are getting pulled, they're encasing these two Reapers, but they are just too fast, too swish. They're running away. They're getting back to safety. And as we can see now, falling back to the safety of that bunker, we do have a third Reaper now on his way to join his two buddies who are already war veterans on their own right. The bunker is up here for Moomin, who's over to command, and then actually he's going to have to come and flow back up top, completing the wall off, but walls are no issue for Reapers, because they can jump up cliffs. They're going to start working where these SCVs cast just chipping them apart. There's two Marines out, but of course, two Marines aren't going to be able to deal with three Reapers without the support of these SCVs, and even if they do get the support of the SCVs, many of the SCVs are already dying. And there, unfortunately, is the GG, and Cass will take this series 2-0. And, oh, and being single elimination, that does mean the Moomin's out after that incredible Thor rush in game number one. Cass, though, showing why he is in the Grandmasters League of Europe and is an incredibly...